elixir is a kind of different take on on Erlang, I would say, but uh, where you know what the inventor of elixir was trying to do was bring the power of Erlang to a lot of communities uh, uh, out there. I think from our end, we mainly focused, you know, from from an Erlang perspective, we mainly focused on you know back end distributed systems and embedded systems. Uh, what Jose Valin tried to do was, you know, how, how do we bring the power of Erlang in the beam? Uh, to other communities and he did it by uh you know focusing on tooling so looking at tooling which uh which were which was more common in say front-end development uh he was he looked at uh, so you know you find tooling similar to what you'd find when you're working with any of the javascript frameworks node.js or or ruby um it is also um yeah, there's also a different approach, development approach, uh, which is maybe more suited to front-end development, mobile app development, which is a top-down approach. In the airline world, we've always used a bottom-up approach. Uh, and again, this is more because of the types of problems we're, we're, we're used to solve. Uh, we we're used to solving there. And, uh, you know, there there's a package manager, again, which I think sat at the core of... Um, Alexei was I think it was one of the very first uh, you know projects which uh, Jose kicked off whilst working on Alexei and which yeah, again gives you a large set of libraries and applications which you can just embed into your program and download on demand as needed. So I think those are the major differences you know, together with the Ruby like uh, syntax um, which you know you don't have in Erlang Erlang has a prologue like syntax <laughs> so uh, yeah.